Gato 4.1 Dev Snapshot 3 just released with over 200 changes since the last Dev Snapshot. And here's what you need to know. One of the most requested features is finally here. And as a multi-monitor user, I'm completely overjoyed that you can now undock the script and shader editors into their own window. If you're like me, you've been longing to get full screen access to scripts while keeping the viewport open. In addition to undocking, you can also save your window layouts. Just beautiful. When creating models, the convention is to usually have them face the camera. This used to cause an issue when using the look at method. However, now the look at method issue where models sculpted facing the camera end up facing in the wrong direction has been patched with a new option to use model space. The issue stems from Gato's coordinate system design and the fix will ensure models face the correct direction when using the look at method and other similar techniques. Multi-threaded support has been improved with a number of bugs fixed in the update, including multi-threaded resource loading, node processing, and the worker thread pool class. Full support is not quite there yet, but work will continue into Gato 4.2 as multi-threading becomes more and more accessible. The GD extension interface has been reworked and a new compatibility system has been added. These changes will ensure modifications to the Gato API will continue to work in older builds of GD extension. The navigation avoidance system for both 2D and 3D navigation has been completely reworked with new static avoidance obstacles, avoidance masks and layers, debug visuals, and more. You can check out the full list of changes in the release notes on gatoengine.org. A link to that and the download link to 4.1 Dev 3 are in the description. Stay tuned for more Gato news and content. Leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, keep creating.